All right, welcome everyone to another week of what actually sold on my main banker. Let's see if we can actually match our Oceanic server one, which was 300,000 gold profit. First 100 are 600,000, only 247 sales, so not that exciting. Haven't really done too much here, been mucking around a bit more on the other server. So let's have a good look at what is here actually. Um, well, let's have a look. Ventus runes, um, again, on and off kind of thing. It's one minute you can make gold on it, the next minute you're not. So you just wait till you can make enough gold on them and then you just hold on to them till that day and then you just post them and see how you go. Cosmic Ink has actually gone up in price again. So Chuck's made some up, chucked that on the auction house and just ripped the benefits of it. I think, you know, you're looking at 40 gold profit on each one, roughly. It's not too bad. It's all that's up, especially because you can sell them in quantities. So that's when it makes a big, big difference. Um, what else is here? Some patterns, some old world patterns, which are nice to just get rid of. Someone wants to buy them, which is good. Some meal, rim, um, milled um, pigments, um, spell threads here, tiny bit of it. Some wilder cloth bags of usually sell for half that cost so it's nice they've just doubled up accidentally sold my quick hands which is not very cool at all uh the region bags have actually gone up from the hundred old gold so they've just stayed the same as last week which is really really nice uh more runes more cosmic ink these are the rank three ones um there you go the spell threads i sold some that's hit and miss at the moment one minute we sell hips, the next minute we don't. Again, just Ventus runes. While the cloth bags, Chrono bag, he sold for 10,000 gold, so that's nice. That's better than the 2,000 gold they were selling for. But again, you know, you sell one, but if you sold 10 of the other ones, you've doubled your money from that. So it's just, you know, volumes sometimes are better if you want to, you know, better turnover. Uh, while the cloth bags here, they've obviously slightly different price here. Flourishing pigments, some more milling I did. Some more profession gear, tools that are still selling. Some more bags and yeah, there's nothing else here really that's exciting. But it's still a tiny bit of gold in here. So let me grab that. Okay, next little bit. Just reset in four seconds. Two, one, one. All right, six eight six hundred and eighty thousand gold. Hmm. Jeez, I'm actually gonna be glad if I actually break even at the moment though I'm going. It's never promising when there's only forty eight after this. And I can't remember what they were. Nevertheless, let's have a look. So I spell threads again. Just trying to turn them into profit. There were only a hundred gold or so in each one, so it's not like it's a big thing kind of thing. Um, some more region bags, they're pretty good because the cost bugger all to make. And what else is here? It's my spell threads again, spell threads, my bags, and sell a couple sonic, uh, so, sonic, sophic amalgations. For two and a half thousand gold and what else is here? Some more profession gear. And yeah, another chrono buggy for ten thousand gold, so that was nice. Alright, uh yeah, nothing really to be excited about anything really here, so let me grab that. Alright, let's have a look at the last little bit. There you go, 453,000. I actually think I've made a loss. Hmm. Interesting. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, there is some stuff still on the auction house, I suppose. Hmm. There you go. Can't win them always. So, what else is here? Let's just have a quick look. Nothing really. So, there you go. Sold one of this lemon herb fillet. I'm rest busy for 900 gold and sold it for over, you know, 
three four thousand gold on the other server gold thorn t sold here uh bottomless or sexual another chrono bag here that was from before probably still yeah nothing really to rave on about let me grab that all right let's have a look at this this dismal effort actually very very disappointing nine eight five seven nine nine oh seven so ah actually wow actually made profit fifty thousand gold fifty thousand jeez i mean it's nice still fifty thousand but there's a lot of work for fifty thousand it was a lot easier on the other server so there you go i managed to actually outdo myself on the other server from here and um yeah it's actually considering how much turnover i did i mean you know There you go, you know, 700,000 plus million gold, let's say a million gold of, you know, of turnover for 50,000 return. I mean, there is still stuff on the auction house like the um, spell threads and so on. So if they sell, there's I think two or 300,000 of them to sell. But either way, for this moment, that's where we are. Let me have a look at the high and lows. All right, let's have another look here to see how well it all went from price point of view. There you go, some draconium gauntlets and arm guards sold and a wilder cloth cloak. So that's nice, some signets, all PVP gear. It's worth, you know, a bit of gold and chrono bags. Then you got to sell three of them for a nice price. Then a Draconian Combatant's Emblem even sold here. And a couple of patterns. Nice. And, oh, there you go. And even a Lego item. Wow. And apart from that, it was my spell threads and bits and pieces. So not much really to rave on about. But it's quite interesting that because I haven't sold the spell threads, I still got hips up there on the auction house. It doesn't actually reflect to actually making any gold not really anyway for 50,000 gold profit only for the week so that doesn't sound very exciting at all not normally not here and that's all I can really say it's just been very um challenging now and that's it so yeah that's it that's as good as it gets for me and Hope everyone's doing slightly better than me. Alright, so thanks guys. Catch us all again next time. Mm -hmm.